Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Taro. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in Architadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girola Moriario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. No! Oh, no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Inside, double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta, perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene, I'll be right back. Hey, you, yeah, I'm talking to you, you spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. <sighs> you think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your valley off? Fly out your nostrils! Ah. 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 
This week I'm almost giving my labor away. Another time then. Oh, 
Taviano! Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me!
Sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Gecko. At your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back. For something of yours? A certain map? And a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Caterina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe.
Yourself. The apple and the map, or your kids are crippled. I have to pee. Please, Messere. I need to go to the bathroom. Beco, get him. Oh, per Dio. You the ill Beco. a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his price because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Grazie, signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I I'm going. Unbelievable prices I have for you. Get 
So, you have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miserie nascono dalla vidità. Requiescat in pace. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... a missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Do you require a medical assistant? I don't 
No, I must be tired. Glasses on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Mm -hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go, go in peace, brother. I always do. Well, I suppose I should find a way Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... <laughs> Unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! To die. I only kill those who kill others, and your brother Stefano was a killer. 
I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I, I thank you. Go with God, brother. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent. We'd still have some place to call home. Welcome that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. <laughs> 